prime time. Who is the next inductee to the WWE Hall of Fame? What does Al Snow have to say about the announced matches for tomorrow's lockdown pay-per-view from Miami? Find out in a special preview with Al Snow. Finally, we close the door on the month-long saga of CM Punk. <laughs> Why is WWE having its best year ever by all accounts? Get all this and much more right now on an expanded edition of PWR Primetime for Saturday, March 8th, 2014. Ladies and gentlemen, to the Pro Wrestling Report Primetime Saturday night for Saturday, March 8th, 2014. In case you hadn't gotten that point already, it's Damian Nelson sitting alongside David Octavius Tiberius, the alleged backyard one-time knockout straight-edge divas hardcore goat-faced Hall of Famer hero. How are you, David? Today is a hashtag tremendous day. Today was a good day? Today is a fantastic Thank day. Thank you, Dr. Dre. Let's get to uh, this week's big story, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, well, the time has come for us to close the door on what arguably has been one of the hottest stories in pro wrestling in recent history. That being the story of CM Punk. Who? Well, it's been another week in WWE and another week without Punk as part of the programming. Many people expected Punk to return to WWE this past Monday night as Raw emanated from Chicago. Some even went as far as to try to build online campaigns to hijack the show from WWE in protest of CM Punk's absence. The key word there, though, being tried. While there is no doubt that the crowd in Chicago was looking forward to seeing their beloved CM Punk, Monday Night Raw went on without incident and, as a matter of fact, WWE addressed Punk's absence to kick off the show, and they did so in a brilliant way by having Paul Heyman come out to Punk's music. They looked it in the eye and went right after it. In doing so, they controlled the Chicago Raw crowd and even manipulated them into doing exactly what they wanted to, give more credibility to everything Paul Heyman said, and they did not even realize they were doing it. You know what the amazing thing is about this entire bit of CM Punk shenanigans? What's that? Is the joy in your voice. You seem rather pleased that it's over with now. That we no longer have to talk about CM Punk. I'm going to final word this at the end of this segment okay. um, because we are closing the door on the CM Punk saga. Look, here's the fact. He, if, were, if he was going to return, should have, would have, and could have done so this past Monday night Agreed, in Chicago because and satisfied his humanoids, satisfied his fans, did what is best for business. And I mean that in the truest sense of the word, not in the gimmick sense that's been being used lately. This was Punk's chance, his opportunity to show that you, us, the fans, meant something to him by if he were to be coming back, to come back. So. He didn't do it this past Monday. He will not do it before well, his contract's and, up in and, July. And, and let's figure, if he was going to come back, it would be in Chicago to get the loudest Road Warrior pop ever because that place would have gone banana. The roof would have been blown off the top of the Rosemont Horizon. Which ain't easy. No, or difficult, it, rather. And uh, he would have been the biggest star in the company, and that would have sent a message to the machine, the authority, the corporate offices in Stamford, Connecticut. Didn't happen. An opportunity missed. And you gotta wonder what's going through the head of CM Punk to not come back to Raw in Chicago. Well, has there been a bigger talent company dispute failure oh, of than this past Monday of course. night? Such as? The Ultimate Warrior when he left after SummerSlam 91. What about after uh, his, his, his uh, they did a DVD, Green Bay Raw? The destruction of the Ultimate Warrior. 2006 when he left as well. A absolutely. After coming back for, what, three, three events? Yeah. But there was no moment that was natural or so natural or so expected the for the Ultimate Warrior to is, come back. The only difference is that it wasn't social media back then when the Warrior that left. That is true. That is true. And things were a little bit more, you know, guarded. So here's my question. By all means. Uh, ever since that whole habanero combo incident, you and Punk have not been on the best of terms. Mm -hmm. uh, he did not return this past Monday night. No. Uh, we don't know the circumstances by which he walked out of WWE because, well, he hasn't said anything, so we have to make assumptions. Right. Talk more about that in final word. 
But where does this leave you, David Hero, as an opinionist, the doctor with a doctorate of in I have opinionology? A doctorate in opinionology yes. Where does this leave you in regards to CM Punk and WWE? Who is in the wrong here? Well, I'm going to say CM Punk is in the wrong. Okay. Because at the end of the day, he works for the WWE. And if they had a plan, an outline, something in place to go through WrestleMania, knowing he's probably not going to resign his contract in July, why would they then go and say, okay, yeah, you know what, you're going to leave a few months after WrestleMania, and we're going to have you headline a main event for the championship and maybe have you win, only for you to leave. Doesn't make any sense. The last time that happened was when Hulk Hogan came in, defeated Yokozuna, didn't wrestle for a month after, dropped the belt to Yokozuna, and then won up in WCW. The king of the ring. Mm -hmm. um, what is that thing Vince says? Oh, a time-honored tradition. You know... And let's face this... it. Let's face it. A triple threat match with Punk, Randy Orton, and Batista is terrible. It would not be fun to watch. Because what would But they be... could easily throw them into Hold it. Hold on. But what would be worse, Batista defeating CM Punk at WrestleMania? Oh. Yeah, the crowd would go nuts. Well, let's get to the final word on this subject, ladies and gentlemen. And it's time for all the wrestling fans out there to face the cold, hard fact that if Punk did not return to be a part of Raw in his hometown, he's not returning to WWE anytime in the near future, if ever at all. Now, I'm not afraid to admit that I said for the last few weeks that Punk would return to WWE in Chicago, and I was wrong. But part of me is glad that I was. CM Punk, for whatever reason, chose to leave WWE. He chose to leave his job, not honor his commitment, and most importantly, walk out on each and every one of his fans. While his reasons may be valid in his mind, no one outside of a very few in WWE and Punk himself know what those reasons are. And since Punk has not spoken publicly about the situation, we are left with nothing but assumptions. The assumption that CM Punk will not return to WWE before his contract ends in July. The assumption that Punk did this in spite of and not in support of his fans. The assumption that Punk mattered more than all of you. Oof, the assumption brutal. that all the support you gave him never mattered. I hope those assumptions are not correct, but until we hear from Punk himself, that's all we have to go on. And that, my friends, is a sad state of affairs. In fact, we would like to offer CM Punk the opportunity to come on our very air and speak about the situation whenever he pleases. What? Until he accepts or speaks out at all, the door on CM Punk is simply closed. Fan In scene. Fantastic. Down curtain. Roll credits. We'll be back after this, ladies and gentlemen. New Orleans, SWO, the shenanigans world order is coming to WrestleMania weekend. Join Ken Anderson, Demolition, Shane Helms, Al Snow, and the headliner, the main event, Kevin Nash, for a huge event. A VIP dinner and reception, a question and answer session, a meet and greet, and an after party, all part of SWO, Friday night, April 4th. Details right now at PWRshow.com. Get more from PWR by checking out the Double D Podcast on Mondays, featuring all the latest pop culture talk from Damien and Dave, where each week they somehow manage to get some Justin Bieber talk into the show. The podcast can be found for free at PWRshow.com. Each week, we also turn the show over to you with Feedback Friday, which can only be found on our YouTube channel at YouTube.com slash MaxSports. Again, that's YouTube.com slash Max Sports, where you get to take over the show with your questions and comments each week. There's always more from PWR when you join us online. Welcome back, fans, to the Pro Wrestling Report Primetime Saturday night here on My24 Milwaukee. Damian Nelson sitting alongside Dave Hero, and thank you so much for joining us here on this Saturday night. First Saturday in March. No, it isn't. It's the second Saturday in March. Yeah, how about that? Uh, let's get to this week's hot news, folks. It's all the headlines you need in somewhere around two minutes or less for those of you who continue to maintain a scorecard at home. And they do. WWE stock is trading at a 15-year high on the New York Stock Exchange, and the company is now valued at over $2 billion. Billion? And its chairman and CEO, Vince McMahon, has been personally valued at $1.2 billion, making him the 437th richest man 
in the United States. He's top 500. These record Wall Street results are coming on the backs of optimism over the WWE Network. WWE announced this week that Paul Bearer will be inducted into the Hall of Fame class of 2014 in New Orleans. Bearer, who passed away just prior to last year's WrestleMania, was expected to be on the list for this year. It was also announced by WWE that the main event, which is uh, which will be now, will now be seen live each week on the WWE Network. Lots of W's there. The show, which currently airs on the Ion Network on Wednesday nights, will be available on the network. Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern. WWE is offering more live programming than planned as they prepare for WrestleMania, where they obviously do not want to have any streaming problems, such as those experienced by some during the NXT arrival special last week. PWR will, of course, keep you up to date with developments on these stories as they become available at PWRshow.com. And that's it for this week's hot news. This week's Robert Hack Diamond of the Ring is the machine, the WWE corporate offices. They were threatened with a hijack of the Chicago Raw, and what did they do? They turned everything around. Yes, there were lots of Daniel Bryan chants, lots of CM Punk chants, yes. but at the end yes. of the day, the yes. machine and creative were able to put together an amazing Monday Night Raw, giving the fans exactly no reason to take over the show. And with that, this week's Robert Hack Diamond of the Ring is the corporate creative team and now we're going to kick it off to Linda Kay in the Event Center. Welcome to the PWR Event Center brought to you by Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. GLCW returns to Milwaukee's Turner Hall on March 21st for a huge wrestling show as well as featuring the top wrestling talent from the area. Get all the details and buy tickets at blizzardbrawl.com. PWR is inviting you to the biggest party of the year on Friday, April 4th. Join Kevin Nash at the fourth annual Shenanigans After Party presented by Goldcock Whiskey to kick off WrestleCon. This year's event will be held at the Hilton Garden Inn and starts with a special VIP dinner and private reception for all VIP guests. After that, join Nash, Al Snow, Hurricane Helms, Demolition, and more for a special Q&A session where you are the stars. And then from there, it's time to party, featuring several more wrestling stars and even much more. Get your tickets now at pwrshow.com and use the promo code PRIMETIME for 10% off your VIP tickets. That's it for this week's Event Center presented by Gruber Law Offices. And now let's go to this week's edition of In-Depth with Al Snow for a preview of tomorrow's Lockdown Pay-Per-View. Thank you. I got to say, before we get started, you are looking incredibly tan. <laughs> you are. <laughs> and I, it's amazing what six minutes will do for you in a tanning bed. You know, you come out so refreshed, glowing. You're incredible. The skin, I, you, you look amazing. You I've know. been tan too. You have, yeah, but you go for a longer period of time. He does it in six minutes. About 34 years. Have, have you? Yeah. <laughs> not bad. <laughs> Got a styrofoam cup there. Uh, that's not the, the styrofoam I expected to see here with you, though. Well, Al. I know. Well, we had an argument on the way over, and I felt since this was uh, broadcast TV, <laughs> that. Uh, not cable. Uh, we, you yeah, know. not cable. <laughs> That we, I, it wouldn't be appropriate for me to be uh, arguing with my significant other on TV. You know, this wouldn't be the Jerry Springer show. It wouldn't be the place to do it. Or even worse, Steve Wilco, who is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Better or worse than Dr. Phil? Oh, uh, Dr. Phil, at least, you know, he's a munt. You can, <laughs> <laughs> you can at least feel sorry for him. Steve's just a bully. Tomorrow night, Miami, Florida, it is Lockdown, the cage-based pay-per-view from TNA Wrestling. Several matches, of course, have been announced for that pay-per-view event, and uh, it's got to be good to be in Miami, uh, I'm oh, certain. it's going to be great to be in Miami. Right down the road. They have a lot of mojitos in Miami. They do, and I know do you how drink much those? you love. No, not really. No. I know that uh, he does. And, uh, Mojitos? They, and they seem to work for him. Who doesn't love Along mojitos? with the six-minute man. Yeah. Yeah, most men don't like to drink mojitos, but it works for Dave. It so. always works. It's a last man standing match. And yes. we're going to talk about these matchups and not necessarily what's going to happen in them, but what to expect out of them. Don't really care about the outcome, but what we're going to see from bell to bell, I guess, in these matchups. Firstly, last man standing, Gunner versus Lance. I'm Lance. Lance, where am I going? Chain Storm. And then okay, we're up. professionals. <laughs> we get paid to be on TV. James Storm versus Gunner. Uh, Gunner, just a beast. James Storm, of course, very popular with the fans as well. David well, Hero. not anymore. I mean, ever since Storm went the way of Team Dixie and cost I Gunner the, you know, the match. I don't know if he necessarily went the way of Team Dixie, but clearly, out of personal jealousy, you know, and resentment and being bitter, you know, he took away the one thing from... So the bitter uh, beer face? And the bitter beer face. 
took the one thing away from Gunner that had been taken away from him repeatedly over the years, and that was that world heavyweight title. I mean, Gunner had the match won, and then, you know, Storm super kicked him right in the head uh, mm -hmm. as he dove off. <laughs> 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 so, you know, um, and I think that's what it comes down to. It's more about a bitter, about a bitterness and jealousy by James Storm. Um, you know, here comes Gunner, a new guy, getting so much success, you know, and then there's, here's Storm slowly taking more and more of a back seat to a guy that he brought in mm -hmm. that, to be his partner. Right. And he was to be the team captain. He's becoming the Marty. Gunner's becoming the Sean. <laughs> but I don't think, you know, Storm's even though sit back. Even though that Marty has Sean's moveset. I don't know what a move set is. The super kick. The, the, the super game. kick. He plays video games. Well, and apparently, wrestlers have now developed their own move set. Like wrestling's just nothing more than a live action video game, which is retarded. <laughs> David Hero, yes. Gunner versus Lance Storm. <laughs> James <Yeah>. Storm <laughs> is the last. It's the last what do you, man. Do you have a crush it's on the, Lance no, it's Storm? the last man that I keep. I'm mean, hopping ahead of myself. Shaved his head now. It's the Lance man standing. Is what it yeah, is. Yeah, it's the Lance man standing. In that matchup, who do you see winning? I gotta go with Gunner. He's just. The big beast, the monster. <laughs> um, it's his time. It's time. His time is now. It, it is his time now. Another cage match is going to pit Magnus versus Samoa Joe. Magnus will be defending his TNA World Heavyweight Championship. Magnus has seemingly not been able to keep his hands on that championship belt without help from others. This, similar to what you just said, in the cage. Magnus, a great champion in uh, TNA, but we've seen a resurgence of the beast of Samoa Joe over the last few weeks. Yeah, and, and because of the cage, you know, uh, the cage is meant to, to literally keep people out and two people in, and, uh, and, and does do a very good job, especially, you know, the cage they put up around a lockdown. That thing is enormous. Mm -hmm. You gotta see it live. It's just insane. Um, it, you, know, he, you know, Magnus has survived using Magnus rules, uh, but those rules really are not going to be able to be applied, you know, once that cage comes, door shuts. And uh, it'll be interesting to see what can he do physically on his own yeah. against a competitor like uh, Samoa Joe. David Hero, who walks out of Miami, the, the TNA World Champion. Magnus, will he retain or? He needs to retain. He needs, to, he needs this win because every match he's won so far has been shenanigan filled. He has, he has yet to win on his own. He needs it, but does he do it? He's going to have to. He's going to have to find a way to do it. I think he's a crafty individual. And I don't mean like, you know, go to, go to the fabric store and make yourself a skirt. I'm like talking going to Michaels and getting all the styrofoam. Right. I, I think he's crafty in another way and that he'll, where there's a will, there's a way. I think he's going to leave with the belt. Lethal lockdown for control of the company. Team MVP versus Team Dixie, both with some uh, tremendous stars. Jeff Hardy making his return for that matchup as well. Lethal lockdown, always fun. Be in a main event. I did. Pay per view. I do. Yeah. No, but I'm saying from where they were three months ago to where they are right now. But that shows you, um, it honestly shows you that <clears throat> what you do, much like you said, is like a trending on Twitter. You know, the guys get so caught up in, oh, I'm going to lose or I'm not going to get my stuff in. Big deal. I mean, it is so fragmentary and so momentary that, you know, as much success as you're having right now could fade away. Mm -hmm. As much as you're in the pit right now, your fortunes can turn like that. Being in the right place at the right time and being willing to do the right kind of business for yourself and everyone else is what's going to keep you constantly moving forward. Sometimes you're going to take a couple steps back, but you'll always take another step forward. And bromance are a prime example. They were literally, Harabi E was literally a joke uh, for such a period of time in the ring. And then now look at him, He's, you know, they are a functioning, legitimate heel tag team in TNA. Two and amazingly talented individuals. Same they're, they're, you know, they keep the character from A to B and back to C. They do, and as and all of this complimentary stuff for Robbie B is making my heart ache. <laughs> it makes it, it creates a pain <laughs> deep inside me to admit that he's actually good. Who wins, David Hero? That matchup. Who gets control of uh, TNA coming out of lockdown tomorrow night? Team Dixie or Team MVP? You, know, you have to believe if you're going to bring in Team M bring in MVP. It has to be for longer than a month, a month and a half. You, you, you got to believe MVP with Jeff Hardy and the Wolves. That's what I have to go with. Hey, but nothing's guaranteed. Nothing's Not at all. No, nothing is guaranteed. Lethal Lockdown is the main event. It will be for control of the company. Lockdown, the pay-per-view that tomorrow night from Miami, Florida. And we'll be covering it live, of course, on Twitter you know, and on our Facebook page. What? Uh, Everything's 18% in Miami, Florida. 
but you mean to a tip? Tips, yeah. Wow. Uh, so it'd be like 18% for your, your tanning bed. We'll be back in just a moment with more PWR Primetime Saturday night. If you've been hurt in a car wreck, the insurance company may try to stop you from getting what's fair. After my car wreck, the insurance company tried to stop me from getting what was fair. I called Gruber Law Offices. Be careful. Call us right away. They better be careful. Now I've got Gruber Law Offices. Call us. Let us get started on your case right now. They green-lighted my case and got me $100,000. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Call 276-6666. Primetime continues here on My24 Milwaukee, but there's always more waiting for you online once we go off the air. Head over to PWRShow.com to watch the full one-hour edition of tonight's show, featuring stories and thoughts that are just too hot for TV. The show is 100% free and ready for you immediately following the broadcast here on My24 Milwaukee. Welcome back, fans, to the Pro Wrestling Report primetime Saturday night right here on My24 Milwaukee. I want to say thank you, of course, to Al Snow for joining us again Uncle Al. here on the broadcast. Lockdown tomorrow night on pay-per-view. That segment taped uh, just a little while ago with the matches that were announced at the time. And You know, he should have been a teacher. Is that right? I think so. A scholar, a gentleman? Absolutely. Next week, Al Snow joins us again for another in-studio, in-depth segment. It's a day in the life, David Hero, day in the life of a man like Al. That is kabuki-ish. At a wrestling show and what it takes to put that show on. And then from there, we go on to Road Stories with Al Snow. I'm yes. an online exclusive, Al riding along in an automobile. Seeing the USA in a Isn't Chevrolet. That a song, riding along in an automobile. Da -na 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 -na. Some country song, right? That's real music as opposed to the crap you listen to. You know, rap is crap. Okay. Road Stories with Al coming in two weeks, and uh, that got, it can be seen at PWRShow.com. We have Raw to talk about. You're, you're and it is time for this clock. week's WWE Raw Report. But before we get to that, David Hero, you know next week, it's our big, it's our 17th anniversary. Right here. Next week is 17 years? Next week. Oh, my good God almighty. I think I'm doing the math right. I don't, I'm not doing it right. Uh, Have Raw. you seen math lately? WWE Raw this past Monday night. The Usos win tag team gold, folks. They defeat the New Age Outlaws. And a hot crowd in Chicago went wild for that matchup and for the win by the Usos. Great matchup, great talents for them, you those know two what? young men. Big win for the Usos about a year or so ago, talking to their father, Rikishi, actually in WrestleMania, New York. He felt they weren't going to re-sign their contract because they weren't being used properly. Look at what happens in a year's time. They get in tremendous shape. They're on total divas. And now they're the new WWE Tag Team Champions defeating the legendary New Age Outlaws. What next for the Usos? What next for the Tag Team WrestleMania. Championships? WrestleMania. So what do you want to see at WrestleMania? Four-way, three-way, two-way match? I would love to see a four-way. Showcase the great tag teams that they have. Usos. Real Americans. Real Americans. Because there's a shield in there. there. They'll be busy, I think. And the Outlaws. Give them a rematch. Cody Rhodes and Goldust, obviously. Uh, uh, we'll see. Don't go ahead. Pump the brakes, kid. Daniel Bryan defeats Batista yes. Yes. by disqualification yes. after interference by Kane and the Authority. And Raw ends with Daniel Bryan laying prone yes. after a Triple yes. H yes. pedigree yes. in the middle of the ring. Chicago I chanting CM Punk. I cannot believe that they gave them Batista versus Daniel Bryan on yes. Monday Night Raw. Yes. I yes. mean, Daniel Bryan is the most over guy in the entire company, most popular yes. star in yes. the company against yes. the hated Dave Batista. And Daniel Bryan does what Daniel yes. Bryan does. He gets yes. everyone chanting yes. yes, gets them involved in the match, which only then brings out Triple H, who then pedigrees Daniel Bryan. Yes. And leaves yes. Daniel yes. Bryan laying to end the show on Monday Night Raw. Yes, yes, yes. That's the way they went home. It is. And poor Daniel Bryan just left laying there. Yes. Their savior. Yes. The new, yes. you know, the guy who's taking CM Punk's spot. Other matches on Raw this past Monday night. Big E gets a win over Cesaro and Jack Swagger. Now, Swagger interfered in the Cesaro, uh, Cesaro matchup. Cesaro interfering in the, in the uh, Swagger matchup. They hug it out at the end, but David Hero, this breakup seems to be imminent, especially given the smirk I on the know, face of I Cesaro know, during that whole segment. I don't like it. Let them be it. I mean, Cesaro is a breakout star. He's extremely talented. Did I endorse him? Yes, he's ju he's just is, is, he's as good as Daniel Bryan is, as far as I'm concerned, in yes. the ring, the things that yes. he can do. Yes. But I don't want to see the real Americans split up. I think that they are a very they could be a very dominating tag team. 
And what happens to Jack Swagger then? That is the question. And that is the answer. What happens? Poor Jack Swagger. Swagger. I like Swagger. The Wyatt's going to win over the Shield. Now, this was a story to be told because Seth Rollins impresses early on in the matchup. This was, of course, a rematch between the two teams from the Elimination Chamber. Bray Wyatt gets the pin on Dean Ambrose after Seth Rollins walks out, walks out, and says he's been the glue of that team. He shall have like it no more. All. I didn't like that at all. Your goal of every match is to win. And you know what? His goal was. But His they team's got all, goal. They got all pissy and why would they do that it's like have the match get the win fight in the back go back to the motel six talk it out the whole thing you don't leave your partners laying like that how much longer before the disintegration of the shield we saw more on smackdown last We're about night. what 26 days from wrestlemania somewhere around there i'd say about 13 days from now what do you do with them in mania do you have a shield implosion match oh, god i, I don't know, know how we get there i don't know, know what the end is maybe it's a three-way it, it it just might be it that could, could be. be fun. It could be a three-way. It could be Roman Reigns and uh, Seth Rollins against Ambrose for the U.S. title. Hmm. And then oh, Seth, that the U.S. title. Yeah, and then <laughs> Seth Rollins. You know, then Seth Rollins can be the champ. Because you, you don't imagine? think Roman Reigns is ready, as no, you I mean, said on but, Feedback but Friday yesterday. Can you imagine if you have the Shield and the Wyatts and Daniel Bryan all at yes, WrestleMania, yes, all of the yes. darlings of the company? Yet people are still going to be waiting for one man. And all they're going to do is complain about Batista. But, now, they're, but they're going to get everybody else that they want. Speaking of complaints, we got a few complaints from our viewers last week because of your, uh, your, your lack of willingness to dance last week to... That's okay. Emma's theme song. That's fine. You, I thought you made a promise on Twitter you were going to dance. No, I'm, you, I'm, not, I'm not going to be popping any bubbles. Just at dance. All. Have no, some fun, no, David Hero. No, Loosen no, up. Be a fan. Relax, Slick. You can handle this. I don't have to dance I all the time. I danced no last doctor. year when I was Everybody Call Your Mama. Somebody ah, the David Hero yeah, music video. Absolutely. We've got more Raw to talk about, and as Linda said earlier, more show in and of itself. But we got DWHS also. You promised me I'd have extra time for DWHS. Yeah, that's going to be extra and time. And why online. are you wrapping me up now? The people here online, in the Milwaukee want to show.com. The show continues. Not from Milwaukee, want right to DWHS. Right now at DWRshow.com. Join are us you there, serious? folks. Serious?